Hello and welcome to Excelento. In today's video, we'll share with you some of the most dangerous ways women were punished throughout history. So without any delay, let's begin with number 13 on our list, the Scold's Bridle. An iron Scold's Bridle or Branks Mask, with a huge nose piece, hideous ears, and two horns, that was used to publicly humiliate and punish anybody, mostly women, who dared to speak out in opposition to power. Its purpose was to prevent the wearer from speaking at all, and it did so by inflicting great pain and bodily trauma to shock and intimidate the person into submission. It was almost always employed on women, and it was frequently done at the behest of husbands or other family members who asked for it. Number 12. The Shrew's Fiddle This instrument was popular in medieval Germany and Austria, where it was called a Hausstage, which is German for neck viola and Austrian for neck violin. It was initially constructed from two pieces of wood that were joined together at the front with a hinge and a lock. The shrew's fiddle was made up of three holes, as you might expect. One hole was large enough to accommodate the neck, while the other two were smaller holes that were used to fasten the wrists in front of the eyes. This movable pillory was occasionally equipped with a bell, which served to inform villagers that the victim was arriving for them to be ridiculed and humiliated. The double fiddle was a variation on this theme in which two people might be tied together face to face, forcing them to communicate with one another. They were not released until the dispute had been settled. It was also used to punish those who have detected bickering or fighting with their spouses or partners. Number 11. Branded with a hot iron. Lady Lowe, who ran a brothel in Aberdeen, was branded with a hot iron on both cheeks by a hangman and forced to wear a paper crown before being banished from the city. She was warned that if she returned, she would be drowned in a sack. Well, that was just one incident. As a form of punishment in criminal law, branding with a hot iron was used since ancient times, especially for women. It consisted in marking the subject as if they were goods or animals, sometimes at the same time as their decrease in social rank. Number 10. Burning at the Stake Women accused of witchcraft and communing with the devil were burned but it was also a common punishment for treason or heresy, with a woman's limbs covered in tar and forced to wear a tear-soaked dress and bonnet. They would then tie her up by the neck on a barrel, light a fire, burn, and hang her in a blazing inferno, or they wouldn't bother hanging her at all and instead place brackets around her feet so she would be consumed in a sheet of fire and burned alive. Number 9. Killing by Drowning Drowning was a common punishment for women accused of theft from Anglo-Saxon times to the 17th century, and it was also the cause of death in witch tipping, where witch hunters would test if a woman was a witch by whether she floated or sank. Drowning was actually considered a lenient sentence compared to some of the more brutal methods of execution available, such as hanging. Number 8. Cutting the Nose It was typically reserved for women only. Throughout the Middle Ages, Mutilating or removing a woman's nose was a punishment for sexually promiscuous women. By disfiguring a woman's face, the dangerous power of her beauty was removed. Number 7. The Spanish Donkey The wooden horse or chevelle is another name for it. The Spanish donkey was a device that slowly cut a woman in half through her genitals. It was used throughout medieval times and during the Spanish Inquisition, and a similar device was used on Confederate prisoners during the Civil War. It consisted of a sharp triangular wedge supported by two or four legs. The woman would be forced to straddle the pointed end of the device, which was sometimes covered in spikes so that it could slowly cut into the woman's crotch. Weights were sometimes placed on the victim's feet to make the triangular edge date even deeper, cutting into her organs. Number 6. The Breast Ripper It was a horrifying device that inflicted excruciating pain on its female victims. It consisted of two large pointed prongs that tore into women's breasts and ripped the tissue clean off the body. The prongs were occasionally heated as well. It was intended to mark the bodies of unmarried mothers and women accused of adultery. Thanks to modern laws and jurisdiction, the instrument's use came to an end in the Middle Ages. Number 5. A Pair of Anguish The Pair of Anguish, so named because of its resemblance to the fruit, was a gruesome torture device used during medieval times and into the 17th century. The metal instrument was divided into four petal-shaped segments that opened when a corkscrew lever was turned at the opposite end. The primary victims of this device were women accused of abortion. The pair of anguish was inserted into the vaginal canal and slowly cranked open, ripping the woman's reproductive organs apart. 
The instrument was also used on suspected homosexuals, and it was later modified to be forced into the mouths of people accused of heresy, where it was expanded until the victim's jawbones were broken. Number 4. Stone to Death Stoning, also known as lapidating, is one of the most ancient and primitive forms of execution. Although men are also stoned to death, women made up the vast majority of the victims of this brutal public execution. Women accused of adultery have been the primary victims of this torment since the revolution in 1980, with family members sometimes serving as executioners. In the case of an honor killing, a deep narrow hole is dug. The woman is then tied up and inserted into the ground up to her neck exposing only her head, and then a crowd of male executioners threw rocks at her until she dies. Number 3. The Drunk Coat Unfaithful women were forced to settle in the drunkard's cloak, which is nothing more than a huge barrel. The head was able to pass through a hole, and the arms were housed in two other cavities. The perpetrator then had to parade through the city to demonstrate that she was untrustworthy. Number 2. The Market of Shame Since ancient times, Prostitutes were forced to walk barefoot in the city streets during this march, where the crowd also took advantage of the opportunity to humiliate the alleged perpetrator. One example of this can also be found in one of the most famous shows of TV history, Game of Thrones, where Cersei was given this punishment. Number 1. Sawing a woman in half. This method of torture was used as an expense-free way to inflict the most amount of pain with the least amount of effort. All you needed was a two-person saw, no moral compass, and a very strong stomach. Because all the blood rushed to the victim's head, women accused of witchcraft, adultery, or blasphemy were hung upside down with their legs spread apart. They would typically be conscious as the saw ripped through their body, sometimes for hours before the executioners cut the entire body in half or stopped at the abdomen to prolong the excruciating death. Which method of punishment was most brutal for you? Tell us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. You can also watch our other videos suggested just for you. See you in the next video.